So, we have a theory. <laughs> and it's an insane theory, but I feel as though it may pay off. So, during Secret Wars, well, technically, before the beginning of Secret Wars, there was an incursion event slash war that happened between uh, R. Peter Parker 616 universe and Miles Morales' original 1610 Ultimates universe. And it was basically a battle between both of these universes to see who would survive. Now, in the 616 universe, you had old man Nick Fury, uh, the, the David Hasselhoff white guy, um, burned temples on the side of his head, uh, eye patch, that guy, old school Nick Fury. In the Ultimates universe, you had Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury. Here's the thing. When Secret Wars ended and 616 and 1610 were essentially combined, Nick Fury from the Ultimates universe, Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury, became the son of Nick Fury from the 616 universe, where they basically said that, you know, hey, this Nick Fury operated way back then with all of those characters and stories, and then Nicholas Fury Jr., who was the 1610 original Nick Fury, is the current Nick Fury who operates with essentially the Avengers. I feel as though Secret Wars is, Secret Invasion is doing the, excuse me, Secrets, Secret Invasion is doing the exact same thing. And I think Gravik is Nick Fury's son. And there is a lot of, either he's Nick Fury's son or he's Syndrome and Nick Fury is his Mr. Incredible. Because there's a lot of parallels between the way in which his character moves and operates and Nick Fury himself. For instance, his compound just out there in, in the Russian wilderness is very S.H.I.E.L.D.-esque where there's a secret code and a secret location and a secret pickup and a secret drop off. Then not only that, he's working behind the scenes immaculately kidnapping individuals that right now really don't matter but just give him access to the right areas and locations. There's even a shot of him in the window at the top, looking down on the operation as it's occurring, which is very, very Nick Fury S of the secret man in the shadows who's actually running everything. But the way in which he sets up his plans is also very much like Nick Fury himself, where the plans that he's essentially been setting up are like you know oh no 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 this isn't our actual plan we're not bombing this area to cause chaos to do this thing that's what you guys think this is a diversion of another diversion of my actual plan that's happening over there that is very 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 nick furious also putting himself basically in the center of his plan when he could send soldiers to do his job for him to draw his enemies in as a bait, right out the Nick Fury head, right out the Nick Fury playbook. This dude either studied at the altar of Nick Fury, or, or the reason why the, the other reason why Fury had to leave the space station and come down to Earth is to essentially deal with his wayward child, where he's just like, I failed my son or I failed my adopted Skrull son. And now I have to go to Earth to handle all the chaos of my adopted child or my actual child and, and redeem my wrongs for letting him down. There's just a lot of energy between both of these characters that feels a lot like father and son basically having issues. And I absolutely love it. So that's my theory. <laughs> it's a really short theory. There's really no point diving too deep into it because we're only like one episode in. But I really, really, really have a feeling that they're going to expand upon the relationship between Gravik and Nick. And we're going to discover that like either Nick took him under his wing and he became basically an adopted son of Fury. Or he's actually Fury's like son with, with, with a Kree sorry not Cree. scroll woman somewhere because we know that scrolls can take on the 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 shape and appearance of humans all the way down to their dna which means that technically a scroll female would be able to have a child 
with a human male. And then we also have to account for the fact that we've seen in stills that Gravik has extra extraordinary abilities where he might be a super scroll and this may be how they introduce super scrolls instead of super scrolls being a genetic mutation or genetic modification they're actually just the offspring of both humans and scrolls but they've basically awakened their mutant gene which gives them these enhanced abilities but we'll see we shall see and that is why we're here because we like to do speculations but yeah let me know what you think comment down below if you like the video, please like the video. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.